Okay, what's up everyone? So, um, in today's video, we'll talk about a, as a new player of course, what's the progression that, so basically you just picked up a game and you're right now starting to play it like your first day, first week, first month. What should be the progression levels, cap and everything else that you should like see and how it goes and stuff. So basically, um, in my opinion, as a new player, of course the first week, I think you even shouldn't be in the guild, you should just learn all the game. The best learning tips are watching some YouTube videos, um, asking any questions what you have on the stream, whatever there are, and other things like you can read forum posts, you can ask your friends questions and stuff. But either way, so the first, uh, first thing is just learn the game, try to like discuss things, try to improve on yourself and whenever you make a mistake, so if you die or you kill someone, try to analy analyze that and see where did you messed up or did you succeed to do that next time. For example, whenever I die, I analyze that so I don't do that next time whenever I'm gathering. Whenever I'm doing some GVGs or Hellgates, I'm anal analyzing what I did wrong so I don't do that next time and that's how you improve in this game. So basically, right now we're in, the, um, in open world map. So the thing is, as a new player, you will get teleported in one of those like swamp areas or whatever, um, like tier one places and stuff. So the progression is that just you follow the tutorial, which will be given in the right. So that you just yeah get everything. In my opinion, just get everything up to tier three, tier four. Either way, go gathering or as a PvP player. I would say as a PvP player and as a gatherer at the start just spend all your 2000 gold or how much ever you have on the silver so right now it's on uh, almost one month in so you can see that right now gold price is dropping that I said in one week ago that they will drop and stuff but the main thing is that you just want to sell all your gold so here sell your 2000 gold and you will all right away get half a million and for that half a million you can start buying yourself some good horse some sets and other things like that. So the start exchange that silver and just do the progression that you will see here into the into the right section. Just, so just complete those things and move from there. Whenever you hit everything up tier 3, tier 4, you could do that by farming expeditions till tier, tier 4, farming uh, blue mobs in like green or solo dungeons or whatever, have maybe one or two more friends kill mobs, maybe you are as a gatherer just gather and get your at least one or at least all tools tier 4 depending on how much you want to do and stuff. So and then whenever you get everything tier 4 I would say bring all of the things that you have so just bring on your house, ev horse everything and go either way to Marlock or Tedford it's one of these like small cities that are really close either from one of your spawn points. So the start you don't really care about that. So I would say whenever like for example if I as a new player spawn in Forest Landing I'll do I'll get everything up to tier 4 and then I'll go to Limherd. In Limherd I'll sell either way if I'm gather I'll sell all my things. I'll sell all my things and then I'll move to Kerleon. Either way I'll sell everything fully and teleport naked or if I really got like really good relics or whatever that I know what I will use in future or I can make more money in Kerleon. I'll just transport them, that's not as safely, but you can still do that, so I'll transport. So I would say after tier 4 you hit, that's really easy but doable in like 2-3 hours by yourself, even with learning points that could be faster, just go right away to Kerleon. So right now we are at the point that you have hit tier 4 either way on PvP weapons or your gathering, what you do right now. As a solo or new player, I would want to join a guild. I would. First of all, I would look for small guilds who live in Kerleon. Uh, so small guilds who have an island or who own some one of the um, one of the buildings or whatever. I would really look. Where do you look for guilds? You go on Albion Land forums and you can check them as well as usually you can see that um, people are spamming the chat and stuff. So you can sometimes also see that there's like a new people recruiting other people. So you can also check from them. So just find the newbie guild that will help you to learn. Be always in the Discord so you can ask whatever question you have. Start doing some Hellgates, start doing some, of course, Yellow Zone Hellgates. Start doing some Yellow Zone um, 
practice fame farm, start doing dungeons. If you're a gatherer, just I would definitely say move to black zones. Because also I'll, in the future I'll make a video that will say what's why black zones are better than red zones or whatever. But 100% as a new player, at the start I would not try to way move to black zones. I would learn the game, so in the first week or two I would learn the game, so I would stay, stay still in the yellows. And whenever I get at least my gathering up to tier 5 or my PvP combat up to tier 5, at that point I would say I already know what like do either way I want to be a gatherer or fame or like I like to be kill people and stuff. That's right, you could also like flag up and kill people with your friends or try to do it solo. You could also check out some red zones and stuff, but I wouldn't definitely say that do like don't hang out there often. So whenever I hit everything up tier five. I see that I am active and I like this game, I have learned a lot of things in the newbie guild. I would definitely start looking and moving to a low outland guild. So basically here in low outlands there's a lot of guilds who are high tier or as well as low tier and I would definitely look for one of the also guilds who look for players. If you cannot find any and for now everyone has really big requirements and stuff, still stay in your Carleon, Carleon's guild. Well, yeah, I agree, you don't want to be a guild swapper, but you cannot learn, and if people aren't active in the guild that is like lives in Carolion, then definitely start moving out. You don't want to be a guild swapper, but you want to learn, and in big guilds you cannot learn. In big guilds everyone already knows everything, and you just have activity that you want in the end game. So I would definitely say start like building your island, start like upgrading that, start making money the way by fan farming, killing people or gathering, maybe do both and start making money, that. see how easy it's to make money and start doing that as well as start leveling up your crafting either way gathering or also pvp fame as well as mob fame and whenever at least you hit, hit that half million million mark I would definitely say at that half million million mark start looking for low outland guilds who will want to so, and of course like I said you can check them in forums and stuff of course like specific guilds are for specific things you can read um, everything like that and other things. So I would definitely say that whenever you are in Outland Guild and you are happy and stuff, I would definitely say that if you are happy, there's a big activity, stay. But like I would say that, like the, I would say I would go from low Outlands to high Outlands. In high Outlands, there's most activity. The highest like tier people and stuff are here. So we definitely start like even as a solo player or a new player start being in low outlands there will be less activity and easier things as well as like low, lower geared people. So we definitely still start owning all the low outlands. Maybe start even moving to mid outlands if you are really active and you can get up your like fame and everything fast and if you have especially friends. Then start moving to mid outlands and then either way you can move to high outlands whereas the I would say end game aka more more you only need high outlands as a gatherer and as a pvp fam guy but if you can find a really good guild in mid or low outlands you can definitely stay here and those guilds will really help you and of course you like you can in future do some gvgs find of course a group of people that you like like to play with them or be a, a solo or even a group gather start to group up with people start knowing the location so you can get better of course when you hit tier 7 tier 8 you'll start knowing the timers people help you with like raiding territories and stuff so at least this um, guys will, would be my progression it's like everything is in short so i would definitely say that you never want to as a high tier gather from red zones or as your pvp player be in red zones like red zones i would definitely say i hate red zones like i haven't like ever i think get killed i think i got once killed while i was we were like 5-10 people ganking in this place. But I would really say that like that 20% fame more and that everything like other things like low population and stuff. Low outlands are definitely 10 times better. Even if you die, you have still that half million that you got. So you could buy easy like 4-1, 4-2 sets and start fame farming, start getting more money, doing maybe some gathering, start knowing the places and also join a guild. So this is... Um, for now this thanks for watching i hope you enjoy in the future we'll see, uh, i'll talk how like to get a high tier island how what to do in my opinion how to make more money and like how to increase some performances of some things as well as some tutorials 
about like how you can show some things or how you can see. So that's basically that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. Click like, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. You can turn also in my streams. I usually try to stream daily, 5-10 hours a day. And see you guys in the next video. Peace everyone.